hello everybody thank you for clicking on my video in this video i will uh, speak about uh, the wi-fi adapter uh, alpha uh, so this alpha it has so many great settings but the problem they are hidden by the company you cannot use them if you don't know how you can uh, install the driver in the proper way or how you can make some uh, uh, some adjust uh, some uh, sorry some changed uh, uh, on the driver itself so uh, we will try today I will try to show you how you can make this this uh, this sitting out so you can use them they are really great I will show you because I already installed the application with the with the hidden hidden um, settings as you can see here there is so many sitting if you make a comparison between my software and your software maybe you don't have this sitting the settings you don't have the sitting this one you can uh, uh, here you can you can uh, turn on the turbo mode it's very useful it's very very useful here you can have more power to come in or you can have more range to your uh, to your sitting i already before it was like this in the middle and the signal the signal it was the signal w was uh, very you know, very poor uh, so I just adjust it like this and it's very great and one another thing helping me so much to find the, the properly place you will tell me oh we have the same one here no this one is very different the signal is giving you once you're moving you moving the the device from an area to other it will give you here it will show you it's very sensitive as you can see here it will show you and then you can know what is the exactly place or the perfect place for your signal for your wi-fi adapter so to get all these things it's very easy it's very easy i will show you but first but first you need to subscribe to my channel and to click the button like if you want uh, i will start uh, to show you how you can get this hidden this hidden uh, setting that of course the company doesn't want you to know it so i will show you how you can get it out Uh, first uh, you need first you need to to remove the old driver not the old driver the same driver but you will uh, remove it uh, and then we will make this changed inside of this some files and then we will install it back again so if you have a CD uh, of the driver of the software you will go inside of the CD and then you will copy all the files there you will copy it to your uh, desktop or if you have uh, if you don't have you can go to the real tech website and then you can download the driver and then put it in your desktop then I will then I will show you how you can do this uh, this changing I already make the change it but don't worry I will show you how it's how it was done first you will go to the we will start from the beginning going or going over over so I will start will first you sh uh, when you go inside of the uh, the driver you will find this data data file and then you, you you will click it and then you will click in the first one you have this file here if you're using the vista if you're not using the vista if you're with using windows 7 you will go directly to windows 7 you will find this file here you will click this file i will show you this is the to know this is the 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 file that I already make the change in I change it a little bit I will show you where, where I change it so this is the old or uh, actually the, the original file as you can see here there is here some settings they are different here 0 here 1 uh, 0 and 1 what's what that mean 0 it means uh, 0 nothing it means off 1 it means there is something so it's on so I just look and read what's this so i know it i maybe i will need it i put one and i put one over and over and over for all of them because i want to know what's that so it's better to have that setting and to know it and if you don't like it you will just know what's if you will have so many sitting in your software you will just remember what's the name and then you will do the same thing you will come here you will delete the, the, the software you will come back to the same file and then you will put instead to put one you will put zero so you will disable that uh, that setting I put it all because it's not something 
to never make my PC slow or something uh, maybe I will need it one time so I just click it all I just made it all one 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 and be careful to not put any space here or something leave it as it is and just go directly to the to the between these and then click uh, and put number one it means on 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 then save the file this is the step number one remember inside of this file data f the, as you can see here it's very it's, it's showing here the link so and then you will go to this file here the same you finish with the first or the second one or the first one as we have is that you are you meet you making the same thing inside of this fit if you have windows 7 you will make the same thing but if you have windows xp this you will add another file and then you will copy the same files same file and then you will make it inside of a, a file call it windows windows uh, x just call it xp because it's showing in the file system file it's xp there is no windows xp so just put xp and then you will go to the to this file you will open it like this it's the same thing it's not something different you will find here some some lines coming in the end with zero so you will put them uh, one and then you will save it you will install save and then you will go back here if you want uh, another another thing if you have uh, if you have Windows XP and you try to install Windows XP sometimes it's giving you error because of this I will show you why because of this file you would just come here and then you have Windows XP here zero you will put it one same the error that I have so you will put it one and then it will go over to the driver here it will go over here it will found the the file that I told you to make it Windows XP. It will found it. Then it will install the software. It's not something strange. It's it's very it's very easy. And then this is this one. It's about the Windows XP. So don't be uh, confused. So I'm just showing you this file inside of Windows XP. We're changing this file and then this file and then nothing more so and you have this setup if you want to change something here uh, i'm not going here because it, it, there is another ship we're, today we're speaking about one and zero if you want to know what's what's this and what's this this actually means yes and no but uh, why yes and why no we'll speak about this uh, in another video and then when you will save when you will save the application you will go directly to install the driver normally you will click two times and then you will start to install the driver once it will finish when it won't finish it will give you the this here as you can see this one it will give you this one here and then you will be shocked when you will see that this uh, tutorial work with you and I know it will work if it's not if you facing some issues just uh, put that in the, the in the comment and I will help you I will be very happy to help you thank you for watching my channel you're always in MBM1 uh, this is Mohammed thank you and uh, see you in another video and I hope this one will help you and you will like it so click the button like and don't forget to subscribe uh, thank you again and see you in another video